Viva! Viva! Trade unions, viva! Viva! Boy! Hey! Boy! Hey! Boy! Hey! Hey! Amani, gaba kuzi gani? Gafi! Amani, gaba kuzi gani? Gafi! Gani? Gafi! 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 Okelo David Patrick is my name and I hail from Uganda Hotels, Food Tourism, Supermarket and Allied Workers Union. I work there as a person in charge of organizing, training and grievance handling. As you may be well aware, Uganda ratified uh, ILO Convention 190. And today, as affiliates in Uganda, and most especially and an industrial all sector, we are here to uh, commence or start a process of domesticating this into law. And as you are very, very much aware, these uh, uh, actions of um, high harassment and violence in the world of work affects workers so, so much and affects productivity. So I want to also call upon the government of Uganda to quicken the process of domesticating this into law. As affiliates in Uganda and the industrial oil sector, we have started the process and we are going to roll this process down up to the shop steward, up to the shop level, up to the enterprise level to ensure that everybody gets to know the dangers of harassment and violence in the world of, in the world of work so that we get uh, a way of eliminating it totally so that we make a place of work a better place that is joyful for everybody to go and work and get back home when you are happy because it has effects even up to the family the family level so we all join our hands to eliminate harassment and violence in the world of work okay my name is Ahajitwa Hasempebwa I'm the chairman of Industrial Oil National Coordinating Council and uh, Industrial Oil Global Union we are affiliates of uh, the Global Union uh, and we are about we are four uh, unions in Uganda uh, this is an East African building project and in this case first of all I want to thank our government for ratifying the C190 you say you are aware and uh, our main issue is now to see how best we can go down to the enterprise level both at the global we have the policies and then at the enterprise level uh, we see how best we can handle the issue of gender-based violence and uh, sexual harassment at the place of work as you are aware, this is affecting most of our sectors in the industrial or global in the industries. And there is a lot of abuse, not only by the employers themselves, but even the employers and the, and the, what, and the workers down there. So there is a lot of violation which is taking place. So we feel that this is an initiative which we should go on and we want to thank really our global union for spearheading this and trying to finance and ensure that the, the issue of gender-based violence trickle up to the, uh, the lowest worker at the enterprise level. I want to call upon all the workers down there to ensure that we all embrace this, uh, this project so that we can, we can eliminate violence at the place of work and in our places, in our home. I am uh, Grace Navakoza and uh, I serve at the Federation of Ugandan Employers as the head of uh, Employment Relations and Legal Services. C190 is concerning uh, ending uh, violence and harassment at the workplace. So we are here to draw interventions of what can the different sectors as employers and as trade unions we can integrate at our different workplaces uh, on um, what is expected of us to end uh, this violence and sexual harassment at the workplace. As part of this uh, pilot project, uh, and our partnership as uh, Federation of Ugandan Employers and Industrial Oil, we recognize that some workplaces already have interventions in place, but that they are not yet consolidated. They don't know how to sensitize, what is the right approach to sensitize. So we are going to consolidate those efforts and know how do we consolidate the policies, what should we even include in the policies, because some of them just have a policy which is just a one-pager, but you cannot say that that is a policy. So we are going to integrate those efforts. First, to have a working document, know what, what constitutes gender-based violence uh, at the workplace or sexual harassment at the workplace, and also be able to sensitize the workers at the workplaces to avoid these risks as and when they arise. My name is Lanyero Faith Irene. I'm from Uganda Textile Garments, Leather and Allied Workers Union. 
I'm the current Industrial National Women's Committee Chairperson in Uganda. I'm also part of the Sub-Sahara African Region Women's Committee in charge of gender-based violence and sexual harassment in the world of work. And today the role of women in the domestication process of the Convention 190 on violence and harassment is very important, especially in the industrial workplaces that are on board. The relevant role that we will be playing this time round is the advocacy that should be put in place and then also integrating the specific issues that are underlining in line with gender-based violence and sexual harassment in the different policies that we have at the workplaces. For instance, most of the workplaces have sexual harassment policies, but then we also want to see a scenario where the women are protected from all forms of violence and there is equality in the world of work at all instances and in all places that are in our areas of jurisdiction. Bendo Elpita is my name, a general secretary, Uganda Textiles, Garment, Leather and Allied Workers Union. The process we are undergoing today is a very important one domesticating the ILO C190. Uh, we've been having uh, some small codes in our code of conduct, uh, sexual harassment, but it was not enough to help us eliminate the harassment and the violence in the place, in the world of work. So domesticating this is really going to help our sector as textiles. Then one of the company where an employer is even not allowing a, a, a worker, a female worker, to get pregnant. When you get pregnant, you have to remove the fetus and throw, and throw it in the trench. If you don't, then go and deliver and don't come back to work. So these are the things that we really need to fight. These are the things that we need to come out with employers. Employers should know that they have come here to help the Ugandans to grow not to exploit them. Because when you, dis when you avoid me from doing my conjugal rights of having sex and delivering, that means you are denying me my right as a human being because I'm supposed to give birth. This is what God has asked us to do. So we really we appreciate industry all for coming up with this and we also appreciate government for ratifying this law. Boy, 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 boy,